What's up everyone, Michael from 2FAS here and in today's video I'm gonna show you 3 tips that will make your AWS account secure like never before. This video is aimed towards beginners, we're gonna operate on a freshly created AWS account and set up things like multi-factor authentication or setting up individual IAM users, but those of you who are more advanced also can benefit from watching. That's because at the end I'm gonna show you a feature that allows you to control all security aspects of your AWS account from one panel and even allows you to perform automated security checks, so make sure to stay till the end. Starting with MFA, click on your profile at the top right corner and now security credentials. In the middle you will see this button saying assign MFA device. Click on authenticator app. Give your device a name, let's call it phone. And now click next. And the last thing is to click show QR code. And now you want to scan this QR code with your 2FA app. For this example, I'm going to use 2FAS, which is available for both Android and iOS devices. Click the red plus button and point your camera to the QR code. Once you scan it, you will see this six digit verification code that you need to retype right here. So this is gonna be 718566. Now we need to wait for the new code to generate and write it one more time. So it is gonna be 699981 and click add MFA. As you can see, everything went successfully and MFA device was assigned. Now there is one more important thing which is backup, cause no one without the six digit verification code will have access to your AWS account. But this will include you if you ever lose access to your phone or basically lose access to 2FAS mobile app, so how do you protect yourself? Don't worry, 2FAS has you covered. Just click on settings, 2FAS backup, and make sure Google Drive or iCloud synchronization is turned on. As you can see on iOS, it looks pretty much the same. Now if you ever lose your phone, the recovery process is as simple as downloading 2FAS AMP on the new device and logging in with the same Google or iCloud account. Now onto the next thing which is identity and access management and this is a pretty big topic, a series of videos can be made here but I just want to introduce you to the core concepts so that you can comfortably explore it on your own. I'm gonna tell you briefly about three main concepts which are users, user groups and policies. And starting with users, this is pretty self-explanatory, you don't want to have everyone accessing the root account. You want to follow the principle of least privilege, which basically means that everyone should have minimal privileges required to do their job. Again, top right corner and security credentials. Now go to the left and you will see this users tab. Click on it. As you can see, we have no users, so let's create one with create user button. Let's call him Mike and we're gonna give him access to the management console. For the sake of simplicity, I will click I want to create an IAM user. We're gonna choose to auto-generate the password and we're gonna untick the user must create a new password box just for the sake of simplicity. Now you wanna click attach policies directly. Policies are basically groups of permissions. If you want your user to be able to do something, you can set it up here. Now this is not permanent, you can change it, but I'm gonna tell you more about policies later in this video. Let's not attach any for now and just click next. Here is your summary, if everything was set up correctly, just click create user. And as you can see, it was successful. You can download all the user data to the CSV file right here and you can even email some instructions to someone. Now to show your password, click the show button and this is the last time you will see it, so make sure to copy it. Now users can be in groups, let's say you have your developers team and then you have your admins team. They will perform some similar tasks and these tasks will require similar privileges. So instead of giving, let's say, access to S3 buckets to each user individually, you can grant this privilege to the group and then everyone inside this group automatically gains this privilege as well. On the left above users you have user groups. As you can see we have no group so let's create one. We're gonna call it admins. And below you have a list of users. We only have Mike, so we will add Mike. Now we can give privileges to the group. It's just an example, so I'm gonna give administrator access here, but keep in mind that this is a very dangerous privilege to give. Click on it and you will see all the details and that users with it can do pretty much everything. But again, it's just an example. Now at the bottom, click create user group. 
Now as you can see group was created successfully and it has mic in it. But you may ask yourself what if I want to create a custom policy with my own set of privileges? Well, you can do that. On the left side you have policies tab with all the available policies. So if you wonder what privileges will a user get with let's say S3 full access, you can browse them all here. Back to the policies tab at the top right corner you can create your own policy. And you can use either visual editor or json editor and I don't want to spend much time here explaining the syntax, Amazon provides a great resource in the form of documentation, you have everything explained there, link in the description of course. Last thing and probably the most important one is to never use the root account, it has all the privileges and if it gets compromised your whole AWS operation may be gone and you don't want that to happen. Now since AWS has so many options it can be confusing for a lot of people, especially in the security aspect where everything needs to be perfect. Well there is a solution for that, I want to introduce you to Security Hub. Everything prior to this point was available for free, Security Hub is a paid service so just make sure to keep that in mind. AWS Security Hub is a centralized security service that collects and organizes security alerts from various AWS services and third party tools into one dashboard. It continuously runs automated compliance checks against industry standards helping you quickly identify and prioritize potential risks. As for the price you pay a fixed amount per check but as you can see the more you use the less you pay. There is also a free trial so you can comfortably test it and find out if it suits your needs. Thanks for watching till the end, if you have any questions you can join our discord server, link in the description and ask them there or in the comment section under this video. Subscribe and see you in the next tutorials.